Today, we're doing a little math class on this episode of Ryan and Real Estate. What does a $375,000 home today cost you versus what it cost you just nine months ago? Here we go. Welcome to Math 101. We're gonna talk some real numbers here to help you understand where this market's at. So, what does a house, a $375,000 house, today cost you compared to what it would have cost you uh, nine months ago? So in February, 3.5% interest rate on a 30-year fix was pretty normal, pretty average. So if you wanted, you had this rate, you're pre-approved, you wanted to go buy a $375,000 house, you would go out and you'd search, you'd find this home, and you had like two or three days to actually find it by the time it hit the market, get in there, get your agent to show you the house, make an offer, and you're probably competing with, we saw at this price point, I'm talking 20, 30, 40 offers sometimes. You've got cash buyers, you've got people waiving the appraisal, selling off their firstborn kid to get in, and they still sometimes didn't even get the home, but if you did, you probably had to go way above list price. So that $375,000 house probably would cost you about $410,000. So. After you got through waiving the appraisal and all that earnest money you had to put down and a short option fee and maybe even had to waive the inspection, give a free 30-day lease back, you do the math and you calculate your mortgage payment. After down payment, property taxes, insurance, HOA, you're probably looking like around $2,535 a month. I'm using a mortgage calculator. I'm no lender, but I just used a mortgage calculator to figure this out. That's about what you're looking at, $2,535 a month. All right, now let's fast forward. Interest rates have risen to average 6.5, 6.7, maybe up to 7%. Super high, super quick. Why did that happen? We've talked about that in other videos. The feds are trying to get ahead of inflation. Inflation rises, so do interest rates rise with them. And so uh, with that came buyers stepping out of the market, homes sitting on the market a little bit longer. Sellers are like, what happened? We had this phenomenal market. We were expecting X and X price. And now you're actually seeing drops in prices, major drops in prices, negotiating. Buyers are actually able to get some closing costs covered or maybe buy down the rate, take that sales price down. So that $375,000 house that you were looking at uh, back in February today would cost you maybe you could get a deal and you could get it for 350. We're seeing that lots of times. So you now got this house for $350,000, but you've got that high interest rate, 6.5%, whatever it might be. But after, again, all those extra things, down payments, insurance, all your closing costs, you're probably looking at a $2,624 a month payment. Yes, that's probably about 230 bucks extra you having to, you're having to pay now because of that high interest rate. But here's the deal. You got the house $60,000 cheaper. So what does that mean for you? Well, here's what it means. It means you got a deal because interest rates are going to eventually lower. Don't know when, but they're going to eventually lower. And when they do, you're gonna be able to refinance that, maybe down to like a $2,200, $2,100 a month rate when you refinance it like four or five percent and then you're gonna be living the dream not only do you have a lower payment than you did in february but you also got the house sixty thousand dollars cheaper and look guys the reason that buyers are out is because they're not exploring their options and if you're a buyer i would just strongly encourage you talk to a great lender we know some great ones and explore the options of what you could actually do now and don't just take sales price as that's the final word talk to a good real estate agent i know where you can find one and have them explain to you what a particular house maybe a house is missing the market 30 40 days that seller might be very motivated and take a lower price than maybe they're asking. Um, but the difference is you're getting to save $60,000 and when those rates lower, you're gonna refinance and you're gonna be living the dream. It's simple math, but the only way you can have these answers solved for you and give you clarity of what you should do in your situation, and not everybody should buy, but in your situation, is talk to a professional who can help you 
and lead you down the right path. But if I was a buyer and I was looking to buy in the next one, two, three years, I would be really looking right now. Because here's my question, what happens when interest rates get into the fives and fours? Where are all those buyers that left the market just four or five months ago, have they gone forever? No, they're probably waiting for those to the rates to come down, then they're gonna jump back in, and now you've got lots of competition versus right now might be the time you could actually get a deal. Just do the math. We've got some other helpful episodes here that you might wanna check out. Uh, they'll give you more information about real estate. And as always, thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. I'd love to hear some comments from you. And we will see you next time on Ryan and Real Estate.